To access the Forms module, navigate to System Administration and select Forms. If you want to make changes to one of the built-in forms, you will have to make a copy of it first before you can edit it. You will not be able to make modifications to built-in templates. However, even if you do plan on making changes to an existing form, it is always good practice to make a copy first. That way, if the edits you made don't turn out exactly as you planned, you still have the original form. To make a copy of your form, scroll through the list of forms or use the Look for field to search for a specific form. Select the form you want to copy, then click the Duplicate button. You will know this is a duplicate form because it will be indicated at the bottom of the screen. Enter a new description for the form. Note that the form description must be unique. Then go ahead and click Save. Now that you have a copy of your form, you can edit that form by selecting the form and clicking the Advanced Form Designer button, which will launch the form designer. If there is already a logo on this form and you wish to change it, you can simply double click on the existing logo to open your file explorer where you can go ahead and select the new logo. Note that the file cannot exceed 150 KB in size and must be a supported image type. Another option is to click on the logo, then in the property section on the right, select the image field, then click the three dots, which will also open your file explorer so you can go ahead and select your logo. If this form doesn't have a logo or you would just like to add a new one, select the picture icon from the icon bar and then go ahead and draw your box where you'd like to add that logo by clicking and dragging your mouse. Next, click on the box and in the properties tab, click image and the three dots. Then go ahead and select your logo. To resize the logo, click on the logo. Then in the properties tab, click on the size mode property and set the drop down over to stretch which will resize the image to fit the exact dimensions of the image box, or uniform, which will keep the length and width proportions of the image so that no skewing will occur. This is usually the best option to select if you want to avoid distorting your image. You can also modify the logo size by selecting the image, then clicking and dragging an edge or corner to adjust the size. To add text to a form, Select the label or field icon from the icon bar. Next, go ahead and draw the box for where you'd like to add your text. And double click on the box you just drew to open the text editor, where you can go ahead and enter your text. Then click OK. To edit existing text, simply double click on that text to open the text editor. You can also adjust the format of the text by selecting the applicable text box and using the format toolbar to make the adjustments as you need them. An alternative way to edit the text is to select the applicable text box, then select the font property, click those three dots, and make your adjustments accordingly. To move an object in the form designer, simply select the object, and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the box around. Or, click and drag the box to a different location. To delete a text box or a logo, click on that box, then click delete on your keyboard. To change the format of a date, select the box that contains the date field, then in the Properties menu, select the Text Format property and click those three dots. This property will allow you to format the date with several pre-configured date options. Select a format and it will show you a sample. If you would like to customize how your dates display, select Custom and in the Format Mass field, type in the date format. The text box will take on the format you type. Then click OK to save the date format. To see what the finalized form will look like, click the Preview Report button which will open a preview of the form. 
Once you've made the necessary adjustments to your form, click the Save button, exit out of the Form Designer, and click Save from the Main Forms program. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.